Now, let me get on to the main reason. You're probably thinking at home that was the main reason that Gary was on, but it's actually not. Um, we're very <laughs> excited um, here at Supersport and indeed with Pumalela and uh, with all the sponsors behind the Gauteng Charity Mile. And for that, of course, the principal sponsor is the Gauteng Provincial Government. To have Gary Player on board as one of the celebrities, I would say, the, the celebrity, celebrity. Um, at the Gauteng Charity Mile. And you must be pretty delighted that you've got the National Horse Trust, which was drawn for you. Um, Nico Criziotis actually drew it for you. And uh, horses have always been a, a very close to your heart. We touched on the fact that your greatest sportsman ever was Secretariat. And that mm -hmm. kind of puts into perspective your relationship with horses over the years? Mm -hmm. Well, the horses have played a very prominent part in history, whether it's wars, whether it's peace, whether it's a wedding couple or dressage or horse racing. If you look at horse racing, the jobs it creates in this country. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the pleasure, and we exporting horses overseas. Now, this is a great charity, and I, I thank the provincial uh, government for Gauteng of, of doing this. It's a wonderful sponsorship to have all our celebrities there is great and the last prize is 20,000 the first prize is 250,000 mm -hmm. so it goes to your particular charity which is big money isn't it it's big big everybody money. wins that's it's the point. everybody wins yeah. and we've got to help when we're fortunate enough uh, to be in a position we've got to help society and this is a great event for today I'm really excited about being there the entire day until late tonight. Mm. It's going to be great fun. Yeah. I just thought, it, uh, you know, when I looked at all the horses and I saw the celebrities, mm. I was surprised that fate didn't do bring you together with Far Under Par. Uh, because that's a horse in the race. Yeah. I was convinced when I saw it, I said, I bet Gary gets there. He's got the National Horse Trust, but you've got a horse called Bold Eleanor, is it? Yes, and Mike the Clock. Bold Eleanor. Bold Eleanor. Hello, my dear. Well, I'll give you a minute to do your charity there. That's the name of my daughter. <laughs> Teams, really. right. I, I, wanted, I wanted to. Can I just before you tell yeah, your story, I just want to say. Right. What did I say about not getting a word in here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Talking of charities, I just want to appeal on behalf of the Capistanio household because it hasn't been going well financially with Andy recently. In fact, uh, bold Eleanor, they're actually going to change to sold Eleanor. Um, <laughs> Madonna <laughs> apparently is interested. So it's, I, a <laughs> <laughs> it's a description oh, of, our, of our games of cricket in the garden, actually. <laughs> Capistanio, bold Eleanor. Oh, yeah. oh very good. North. Has very he moved to Malawi? No, oh, very good. Very but very good. You brought over Lee Trevino a couple of years ago to play in a seniors event, and uh, he told the story about how you'd sold him a horse um, back, back, <laughs> back in the 60s. And he said, I just bought this horse from, from Gary, and the bill's start to arrive yeah, and he says, right. he says well, I, I opened the first uh, envelope and it said $200 shoes and I shouted into the kitchen I said Blanche this horse dress is better than I do. <laughs> 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 that is a great I've, I've got a wolf hand baby well, I tell you, he's... He's, uh, he's beginning to come, good, eh? He's beginning to come. Well, yeah. he did very well. He had the best filly in Europe. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you talk about charities, but Retief Goosen, Goosen, that used to say in yeah, South yeah, Africa, yeah, yeah, yeah. or English, yeah. Yeah. anyway, in Australia. But Retief Khursen came and played, and uh, we have our charity days in four quadrants of the world. He came in, in England, met all the people, had breakfast, did it for nothing. <coughs> Love Retief. And, uh, oh, really and Ernie's played in our day in the uh, Mandela event, or our President Mandela, and a lot of guys have been fantastic. Yeah. But this is a special day because, you know, people go into Soweto, the Horse Trust people, National Horse Trust, and help a man in Soweto who's got a cart pulling his mm. coal, his coal mm. and feed the horse better, mm. shoe the horse better. Lovely. Isn't it wonderful that people will... I mean, people are our lives, but mm. people would do this, and we have a golf day, I've played in their golf day, and they've got their day on the 17th of November, to raise funds. Golf has been a great catalyst. Mm. Golf has raised probably more money than any other sport. The American Tour, one billion dollars, more all than that, football, yeah. uh, basketball, American mm. football, all put together, and we're on our second billion. The, the, the beauty of, of golf, and the same with horse racing, is because of this handicap, the nature of the handicap, is that even schmutters like us uh, <laughs> yes. can play with you. Yes. The nature of the handicap is that we can have a game within the game, and, and we're not completely out, because that's the nature of the handicap. Yeah, exactly. And the same with horses, that you exactly. can have competitive horse racing, um, uh, the best uh, being taken on, but because he's the best, he carries them all weight. Exactly the same. It's a wonderful mm -hmm. system, handicapping in general. Wonderful, wonderful, and uh, that's the thing about golf. You know, you can go along and play with Tiger Woods, and if you get enough strokes, you can beat him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You've got to have them. You have to have them. When a horse goes past the finishing post, he will write down the fact that it did. I wouldn't find that too hard.